Hey guys, just thought I'd make a quick video on the newest addition to the printers. It is from Ebos. It is their filament dryer. So the reason for purchasing this was I had bad stringing issues with the PTG. I tried playing with the retraction settings, speeds, feeds, nozzle heights, all of that. And I even ended up trying to buy a enclosure for the Ender 3S ones that I have. And I still was getting the string. So I seen that Prime had a deal one week where it was like $55. So I ordered it. It came in a couple days and I hooked it up, put the filament in there and put a couple of desk chem bags in there and I checked the humidity before I started the print. It was around 45%. So I turned it on, let it run for about an hour, came back and it was about 12%. So I started the print and then I actually ended up shutting the dryer off just to see if it could hold the humidity level or how high it was gonna raise. So I let it run, let's say five hours, came back, and the humidity had got up to about 38%, so it did climb back up. So then I just turned it back on, let it run to get it down to the 10, 12% area, and then let it keep going. I was iffy about just letting it run the whole time because it was new. I just got like a fire hazard kind of thing in the back of my head. So, so far the quality has blown me away. I didn't think that the PTG would contain so much moisture. I've tried multiple different brands. Right now I'm using eSun, but I started with uh, Overtures. But I seen that eSun one day had a deal, so I purchased it and I put a new roll on here with the desk kit bag and it's phenomenal, the quality of finish. It looks like a PLA part. And you're printing PETG, so it's going to have the better chemical and strength properties and heat resistant. But I'll show you guys the part I'm printing now it is a fan blade. Try to focus in on the finishes. I don't know if you can see or not, but there is minimal stringing on this thing. So, if you're hesitant about getting a dryer box, I would take the leap. It's made such a difference and it's made me want to keep printing PETG and PETG alone. I'll show you kind of what the dryer box looks like. So it has a adjustment knob on here just to set your filament. And then it has a feed slot in the front, one up top that I'm using, and then it also has one in the back. And it is a side, I guess, entry for the filament. And then on the front, it does have a humidity level. Right now we're about 28%. So if you want to get you a dryer box, go ahead. It will make wonders of what you can actually print at the great quality that you really want. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.